Hey, what's up? This is Hunter Nelson with Tortoise and Hair Software here with a July 2021 newsletter update. Um, so without further ado, I'll kind of dive right in here to our presentation. Um, so been having a number of uh, kind of sales conversations uh, this month, talking with some new companies about uh, helping them out with their digital marketing. And uh, I kind of hear the same story over and over again of, uh, you know, we've been working with a company six months, we've worked with several companies in a row, uh, saw nothing in it, we uh, come out of it, we spent a ton of money, and we hate marketers, but tell us why you're different. That's basically this, <laughs> the story. Um, but uh, my kind of counter to that is usually like, well, are you doing any monthly reporting? Like, what sort of growth has there uh, been? And a lot of times the answer is no. So kind of the first thing I want to share with you uh, this month uh, as a lesson learned from some of those conversations is that you really need to develop a uh, good digital marketing hygiene, you know, brush your teeth, so to speak. But uh, what I mean by that is uh, make sure that you're checking regularly, uh, monthly or whatever the you know cadence is that you prefer on how you're doing against your goals. So, you know, set goals and check your monthly reports. See how many people you're driving to your website. See how many people are coming inbound to your website via search engines. What are the best queries? Um, if, you don't, if you're just kind of getting started building your pipeline and you don't really know what to do, uh, you know, one of the best goals to start with is reach. Make sure you're getting qualified reach to people that are in your target market. Um, start to build that audience and kind of focus on that as your goal to start with. Once you get that audience and a good baseline is um, at least 5,000 kind of uh, website visitors um, per month, um, then you can start to turn that into more conversion-oriented goals. Because um, everything on the web is conversion rates of 2% of 2% of blah, blah, blah. And by the time you kind of boil that 2% of 2% down, you know you need several thousand visitors a month to actually find those in-market buyers that are a match for your company based off the segment that you're serving and services that you offer. Um, so, you know, develop that good digital marketing hygiene, check your monthly reports, because if you don't know where you're going, then any way to go is the right path. So, um, and just kind of, once you get to that more advanced stage where you've set your goals, you're regularly measuring your performance uh, against them, um, then it start to, and you've kind of built that pipeline, then it start to, uh, time to start to developing an understanding of the competitive landscape and where you fit within it. Uh, how much market share do you really have? Who is your direct competitor that you need to go up against to take that market share away? Um, how do you win in the marketplace? Um, and um, start kind of regularly auditing that process and making sure that you're um, being competitive within the area that you're trying to seek new business from. Um, okay, so, you know, it's July, things are a little bit slow right now, the summer slump has been uh, in effect, uh, it's been a little bit of a, you know, slow time after the kind of stimulus package came out in spring, there was a big surge in business, but uh, around about uh, late, late May and June, uh, things have started to slow down, July's been pretty slow too, but here at the end of the July, things have definitely started to pick back up, but it's just good to, and I've, I've seen a lot of chatter from sales and marketing people in some of the private Slack groups I'm in, um, on LinkedIn, etc., about trying to figure out why their ad campaigns aren't performing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it's just good to understand that, you know, there's definitely a lot of seasonality in technology services. And so I've got a Google Trends here, and I've kind of searched for the term IT company. And you'll notice that there's a pretty regular pattern here of between about June I don't know if you can see that, but that's June till about mid-August. Uh, it's down low. And then the worst period of, uh, of the year is obviously going to be here at Christmas every year. But you can kind of see there's like starting pretty much January uh, 1 through about uh, late May slash June. Every year is a growth period. And the summer is a slow period. And then about mid-August, around about the time kids go back to school, there's a, you know, large increase in search engine traffic for people searching for IT company. And I looked at uh, terms like managed service provider, cybersecurity company, and several other ones in this Google Trends, and it's the same pattern um, of search engine traffic. And I'm using that search engine traffic as a proxy for demand in the marketplace. Because when people are searching IT company, that means they're shopping for an IT company. So just understand 
um, what the kind of growth cycles and the seasonality within technology services is and uh, you know do plan your marketing around that um, so here in mid-august we're definitely going to be um, you know helping people capitalize on this growth cycle between uh, about mid-august through november and when once november hits thanksgiving christmas start to roll around things go dead people don't start shopping stop shopping but they do stop buying for that period so it's, a, it's important to still keep marketing but just understand when your growth cycles are and when people are actually shopping and plan your investments accordingly um so on that kind of note uh you know i made a social media post this month on how linkedin ads were heating up their business uh, marketing solutions division has grown over a hundred percent and there's a ton of people spending money on LinkedIn ads. Uh, Jason Limpkin is a popular SaaS influencer, had a kind of uh, lessons learned about that. Um, feel free to go check out uh, me on social media here on LinkedIn. But you know, the moral of the story is there's a lot of people spending money on LinkedIn ads right now. And that's not really surprising because uh, Facebook, Google, and most of these platforms have really been hit hard by the privacy regulations that have reduced their targeting accuracy and um, LinkedIn has is more of a brand oriented platform um, you can definitely generate leads off of it but um, you can think of social media advertising as more comparable to display advertising so in a slow period like this it's a lot better to spend money on a brand more brand oriented channel and less on the low intent or the high intent channels like Google Ads and then when this growth period comes up here in mid-August, you might want to shift your spend away from the more brand-oriented channel like LinkedIn and back over to Google when there's people actually searching for those services. Um, because when there's an increase in those uh, search impressions, that means your costs per click go down, your conversion rates go up, and you just get more, a lot more out of your marketing dollars um, by kind of shifting your spend along with the seasonal trends of the market. Um, and if you're measuring performance, checking a look at those, how the impression volume and things like that are moving, uh, your costs are moving, then you'll know how, when to make those changes. Um, and then one last thing here is that uh, there was a pretty important LinkedIn ads conversion tracking update. Um, so if you are running LinkedIn ads right now, just know that there has been a shift from a uh, pixel-based tracking over to a JavaScript event-based tracking. So if you want to make sure that you're getting all that juicy uh, marketing data from your LinkedIn ads campaigns, uh, definitely go in there and make sure that you've got those that conversion tracking uh, up to date and reach out to us if you need help with that. All right, so that was our July uh, 2021 newsletter update. Um, it's been a pretty exciting month. We brought on two clients and um, talk in in talks with a third so business uh, is definitely picking up here a little bit um, the Delta variant still has a lot of uncertainty in the marketing place marketplace but saw an article on the Wall Street Journal uh, the other day that talked about how um, businesses were expanding their lines of credit and there is a lot of um, anticipation for additional spending business spending coming down the pipeline and I personally I'm expecting a huge Christmas season. Uh, E-commerce uh, has boomed over this pandemic and uh, has been just super hot. And I think with people kind of having a Christmas where they're more on the road this year, getting back connected with family and aren't in complete lockdown, it's going to be a big Christmas. And I expect that that uh, growth and or drive of consumer spending is really going to trickle down into some increased business services uh, spending here. Um, supply chain uh, concerns are being alleviated, so um, I'm expecting it to, it to be big. Um, so uh, again, thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let us know in the uh, YouTube section below. I wrote a blog post about the LinkedIn ads conversion tracking update, and I will definitely uh, drop that blog post into the links uh, in the comments down below. And uh, so check those out. And uh, again, thanks for watching.